Hi. Welcome to a quick stretch and strengthening session with me. I'm Angel, and I'm going to do a couple quick sun salutations. I'm back in the head hut, y'all. Wrote a book about it. You can find it on Amazon. Check it out. There's more than one version. Look, it's actually several versions. Anyway, let's get to a quick sun salutation session. I'm a little close over here, but I'm trying to work work with the camera angles that I got. <sighs> I find a sun salutation is a great way to get a full body stretch. And I'm going to do two rounds, which to me is one set of sun salutations. I'm going to try to get my breathing involved here. Starting off <sighs> some forward folding. I'm going to do my best to stay in the camera, but we got limitations to work with. That's all right. I'm going to step back first with the left foot into a warrior pose. Pushing up. Pulling this back hip forward, forward hip back. Tucking the tailbone under. I may have to remove these reading glasses. Even though I can't see you over there, it make me a little dizzy looking far away. That's why I usually wear my sunglasses that are more perfecto for this distance. Anyhow, I've got the hips closing here and now I'm going to open the hips by shifting this back heel onto the perpendicular line. Checking out this side plane here. Gazing out over each set of fingertips and then I'm going to bend from the hip into a side triangle. Try not to collapse on this side using my elbow against my knee for torque and support and gazing up past those left fingertips, bringing those around the backside. Got some shifting in my back here I gotta be careful of. It's a good time to remind you there's not one way to take care of your body. Bring this around on the inside and it's important to listen to your own body, bringing this front foot back to meet the back foot, pressing into the heels and I'm gonna alternate bending the right leg pushing into the left heel bending the left leg pushing into the right and a couple more times and into both tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head pressing through the palm spreading the fingers wide pressing into those heels and then i'm going to move the body forward coming into a cobra position Stretching the front of the body, releasing those toes and back. Lifting the body, trying not to collapse in those shoulders. Lifting the chest, lifting the eyes. Uh, uh, stretch the tongue a little bit. Then tucking those toes back under. Lifting the hips again, pushing back through the tailbone. Tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head. And I'm going to swing that left foot up in between the front hands. Give that a nice steep lunge there. I'm actually gonna give a little extra stretch here. I like to throw in variations into my sun salutations all along the way. I'm trying to come into a stable position here. I'm gonna shift that foot, giving a nice stretch on this back thigh by pulling that foot toward the butt. And then watch that I don't crunch the knee past those toes. And then releasing that, bringing that back foot up to meet the front foot, back into forward fold, <sighs> relaxing a little bit. And I'm gonna come up into a counter stretch and back into a forward fold. <sighs> Bending from the hips here, not so much from the waist. And then I'm going to bend, step back with the right foot coming into a warrior pose again on the other side. And again, closing the hips, pulling that back hip forward, forward hip back a little bit, tucking the tailbone under, really trying to look for stability, pressing into that back heel. And then I'm going to adjusting my stance a little bit wider and I'm going to shift that back heel onto the perpendicular opening the hips now into the side plane I'm still swinging this knee out this way 
gazing out past both fingertips again and again shifting from the hip into that deep side triangle on the other side still using my opposite or my same side arm and leg against each other making sure not to collapse on that side bringing this arm around the back gazing out past that long leg for a little twist and then bringing that around on the inside of this leg bringing that front leg back to meet the back leg and again pressing through the palms into the heels Tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head. Get a nice opening up the back of the legs, through the spine. I'm gonna lift the left leg, keeping that hip facing down, as opposed to up, facing down. Bringing that down, I'm running into the wall, so I'm gonna keep that modified. Bringing up the other leg, and again, keeping that hip facing down, as opposed to up. And on the other side again. Keeping that hip down, getting a nice stretch through that leg, through the back supporting leg as well. And again, lifting that right leg, pressing through the palms, closing that hip, getting a nice stretch. One more time on each side. You're looking for that long sensation through the fingertips, through the toes. And one more time on that side. Still keeping that hip closed. Coming back to press into both heels again. Swinging the body forward again, dropping the hips, releasing the toes, making sure not to crunch in those shoulders. Lifting the eyes and the chest. Nice stretch through the front of the body. And then lifting the hips again. Pressing back through the palms, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head. I'm gonna swing that right foot in between the hands into a nice deep lunge. And dropping that left knee, reaching back. Swing this foot over just a little bit for stability. And again, looking for a, a nice stretch on this back supporting thigh. Play with pulling this hip forward as well. Increase that stretch and just create more stability. There's a lot of variations on this stretch, which I'll get into at some other point, but right now I'm just sort of trying to get through a quick sun salutation pair. So that was one. Back into the forward fold. Releasing through the hips, through the spine. I'm gonna do a counter stretch. And I'm gonna do a second round, second set. Ah, starting with the forward fold, stepping back with the left foot again. And again into a little bit deeper lunge this time, still closing those hips, tucking the tailbone under a little bit. I like to play with Focus, rolling these shoulders back and down. Focusing on the tips of my fingers and then out, long gaze. Far away eyes and then sharp sight on the fingertips. And then far away eyes again. Out to the imagined horizon. And then fingertips again. And I'm gonna follow this fingertip, arcing across the body as I shift that back heel to open these hips. Actually, I'm going to close that back up, shifting, and I'm going to just shift this other way. Gazing out past that back hand, pressing into that back heel if I can. I've come up onto the toes actually there for a side twisting triangle, bringing my opposite hand and knee together now. Left, uh, left shoulder to right knee and lifting that right arm Join a nice twist through the spine, through the body. <sighs> Gaze out past that back leg again, increasing that twist. And then bringing this hand back forward and bringing that front foot back to meet the back foot. Pressing through the palms, through the spine, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head and pressing into those heels. 
I'm gonna lift the left and this time open the hip, gazing the other way to check out my toes there. And then to the other side, straight up and then opening that hip. Giving a little snap, crackle, pop, ankle rotation, which I find interestingly difficult at that angle. Bring that back to close and pressing back into the heels. Bringing the body forward, dropping the hips, relaxing the toes, uh, stretching the tongue, lifting the hips again, pressing back, and swinging that left foot forward. This time I'm gonna straighten that front foot and then slide it out on the heel into a splits position, supporting that with both hands, just to get a little bit of extra stretch on that front leg. And then still supporting that, pulling that heel back and then stepping forward with the back foot. Coming back into that counter stretch. Try not to bang my elbow on the dome. Ah, forward fold one more time. And again, stepping back with the right foot into a deep lunge. Pulling that hip, back hip forward, forward hip back. Tipping the tailbone under a little bit. Looking for nice stability. I'm gonna bring these hands down again, rolling the shoulders back and down. Looking at the fingertips as best I can without my glasses and then out at the horizon or imaginary horizon, far away eyes and then close sharp sight and then far away eyes and then close. And again, I'm gonna watch this fingertip arch across the top, opening that hip. So I do what I did on the other side, enjoying that strong position. And then I'm gonna watch that fingertip again and try to bring those toes Back forward, switching the arms, watching that back hand to the back, forward hand to the front, and then sliding back on those back toes, bringing right shoulder to left knee, left arm up, gazing past those fingertips for a nice twist. And then I'm bringing this hand around to grab for my opposite hip and gazing past those that long back leg. Again, just increasing that twist, giving all my organs a nice ringing out. And then I'm gonna bring this hand back around to the front, bring this front foot back to meet the back foot. <sighs> pressing into those heels. Let's tread those heels again. Pressing into the left, pressing into the right. Pressing into the left. And again into the right. And then again into both heels, tipping the tailbone to the back of the head, pressing through the palm, spreading the fingers wide. And bringing the body forward, dropping the hips, relaxing the toes. Get a nice counter stretch through the front of the body. Lifting through the chest with the eyes not collapsing in the shoulders and then rolling those toes under again pressing back into the heels a little bit wider this time and swinging that right foot forward in between the hands for a nice deep lunge and then straightening that leg forward folding over that leg and then very supported I'm gonna slide that heel out for a nice splits position on this side, just noticing how the two sides are different, where there's suppleness, where there's stickiness, where it feels good and where it feels trepidatious. And not judging it, just noticing it, creating dialogue and interaction, a friendly, loving relationship with my own body. Pull this back heel back. This one would not pick up over that mat, that's all right. And then stepping forward with the back foot, coming back into that ah, forward fold, just relaxing there for a breath. 
I'm gonna roll up nice and slow. There you have it, a pair of sun salutations. You notice it might seem like two pair because one pair is a set on each side and I try to match what I do on each side just to keep it balanced. But of course there are endless variations that one could do and many that I like to do and you might see me do if you stop by often. Uh, I thank you for stopping by now and wanna remind you that you are worthy of your own unconditional love and that there's not one way to do that. There's not one way to live life well or be a good human. We're all figuring this out together and I thank you for being you and let me be me. Till next time, stay free.